Hey golf people, it is a beautiful morning for golf and I've got a really cool new set of clubs, a brand you probably have never heard of. This is the Monroe Golf Set. It is exclusively available at curated.com. I'm out here on course and we're going to break down the value proposition of these clubs and see how they perform right here on course. And hey guys, do you want to win this set for yourself? The actual set that I'm playing with, I am giving away. Details and how to win are going to be at the end of this episode, so make sure to stay tuned. So this set comes driver, three wood, four hybrid, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pitching wedge, a 56 degree wedge, which is really nice. And it's got some beautiful milling on it and a pretty high quality putter as well. Now looking at these irons, what I really like about them is they have a big profile in terms of the face of this club, but a very thin profile up at the top end. I'm holding the six iron here and at a dress, that's basically what you'll see. It almost looks blade-like. Back there though is the cavity hiding all of that game improvement, lift giving, forgiveness instilling technology. Really nice looking club though. Here's a shot at the three wood. Now I really think the woods in the set look very solid. Sometimes woods can look a little cheap feeling. These look like they're pretty premium. Nice shine to them down at a dress. They use the logo there as an aim point as well, kind of cool touch. Now I've seen a lot of package sets come with five hybrids, but this one comes with a four hybrid, which I prefer, and a five iron. So this is going to give you the forgiveness there. Tough club to hit a four iron, especially if you're starting out, this is gonna help. But it's not a five wood and it's not a five hybrid. I really like that. All right, this is my literal first swing with this driver because I didn't have a chance to hit it out on the range. I hit a bunch of clubs on the range, but didn't get to the driver. The flex on the shaft, not as stiff as what I'm used to. So I'm gonna have to make a little bit of an adjustment here. Well, it's up in the air pretty high. Big draw coming back onto the fairway there. I'll tell you what, coming off the club face, the sound was pretty nice. The feeling it impact, nice thud. So it seems like a very solid club. Now warming up out on the range, I also thought the four hybrid seemed very solid. And in sets I've tried before, again, a weak point for a lot of these package sets. This one, really nice. We've got 143 yards to the flag stick. However, the flag stick is front and that's a dangerous place to be with right water and left has sand. So I'm gonna take the seven iron, a little more club hopefully and see how this does. Oh, it's up in the air, pretty nice and high for a seven iron. It's drawn back in and yeah, boy, that's exactly where I aimed. <laughs> it's middle of the green. We're gonna have 15, 20 feet here for birdie. Now I think you'll find that the Monroe golf set is not the longest set of clubs. That's because it has a little bit more, not completely traditional, but more traditional lofts to them, which is nice because you get the nice penetrating ball flight like I just got with a seven iron. I kind of miss that ball flight sometimes with our more modern pressed clubs. They go longer, but you're sacrificing spin, you're sacrificing trajectory, you're sacrificing the angles that it comes down and hits the green and the stopping power. So. That felt really good. I'm past the hole, but like I said, I don't mind being past the hole on this particular hole with the trouble that I have in front of me. As you can see, I've got water here, bunker there. So that's all good with me. Looks like I hit it about 150 yards. It got kind of a crosswind here. It's about right, I'd say. Kind of digging this, you got like a carbon fiber. And I haven't even taken the plastic off of this, as you can see, so we'll snap that off. Underneath, we got a nice, milled putter. It's pretty nice looking. I had a Scotty Cameron putter like this, double forked. Give you a little bit more forgiveness there in terms of right, left misses. Let's see how she rolls though. We landed here, three, six, nine, 12 feet. 12 feet of roll out. I've got about the same for a putt here. The grip on this putter is thinner than what I would like. Some of these package sets now coming with nice kind of medium sized grips. So a little thinner than I'm used to. So it feels a little lighter in hand too. Let's see how it rolls it though. Pretty good. Is it gonna go in? Oh, I just burned the edge. Put a nice good roll on it, I'd say. Like I mentioned, regular shaft here. This is 65 grams with a mid kick. 
So it's, for me, it's very whippy, but again, this package set really is not designed for me. It's designed for more of a beginner to intermediate player. Well, that one's off to the right. I was hoping it would draw back, but it didn't draw back. So we'll be over there in the trees. We'll have some fun over there together. All right, touchy shot here because I've got no four iron. I've got a four hybrid. And I got to keep this really low because of all these branches if I'm going to get it back in play. So I've got the four hybrid out here. Let's see if we can control it, keep it low and get around these trees. Clipped one branch or else it was going to be perfect but I'll take it, we're out. I'm gonna take that four hybrid because I'm, I'm over 250 or I'm not gonna get there even with my three wood. So I'm gonna try to play it smart. Just get us back into play. Like I said, really like the look and feel of this hybrid, especially the way it gets up in the air as hopefully you'll see here. I've got a so-so lie, but this is what makes a hybrid nice. Got it right up out of the air. We're rolling down the fairway, we're back in position. So I rolled pretty good there. In fact, I'm just over here in the rough. But I got a really nice look at, at the pin here. All right, now I've got 90 yards here. A, a little problem I see here in the gapping is that I have a pitching wedge, which is what I'm gonna hit, and also a 56. For me, a pitching wedge goes about 125. A 56 degree wedge is gonna be more like my 90 yard club. So it's kind of right in between here. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the wedge here. This wedge, nice milling on it. Again, big wide face and really nice weight to it. But let's see if we can get there. We have 94 yards. This is more like a 90 yard club for me. I'm gonna see if I can get us there though. Now well, it came out pretty good. It's going right at it. And you know what, it had some great spin on it too. Wow, I'm pretty impressed actually. I knew I had to give it just a little extra than I like to with a wedge, but boy, all of a sudden we got ourselves a par putt. So yeah, I think that's one place I'd like to see this set maybe expand is potentially give you a couple more wedges in the bag. If you're only gonna have one wedge, the 56 degree wedge is the one to have because it's the one that you can use out of the sand. You can use chipping around the green. It's kind of your do everything wedge. And when you're an amateur just starting out, maybe a 60 degree is a little too much power <laughs> to have. It's a little tough to uh, to get used to something like that. So if you're gonna have one wedge, 56 is a great wedge to have. And with a package set, you're going to have a couple gaps there. It's just kind of the nature of the beast. And it gives you the opportunity to go out and buy your own higher quality premium wedges. I'll tell you what though, this one is pretty good quality. This is very similar to the distance and break as my putt on number one. Let's see if we can make this one though. I pulled it just a little bit. I knew it right when I hit it. And I hit it too hard too, as you saw it roll out. Okay, I had to steady the ship there because I definitely did not want a double bogey. So we surrender a bogey there, but drive got me in trouble. All right, we're gonna go to our last hole here, which is gonna be a par three. We're gonna put another one of those irons in our hands and see how it goes. All right, on this par three today, our distance is 157. I'm gonna go seven iron here again. Feels like we have just a little touch of wind behind us. I think it's gonna be the right club. Uh, I hit it a little off the toe. <laughs> it landed on the front of the green and ran up there about pin high, I think. It looks like a middle pin to me. I hit that a little off the toe. So a forgiving club these Monroes are as well, come to find out. Now the feeling off that definitely didn't feel as good as hitting it in the middle, but that's kind of a good thing, especially for you folks starting out. It's so important to know where on this club face you strike the ball so you can improve, get better, and get more consistent with your strikes. So I love the fact that it had that forgiveness, and I like the fact that I can actually feel where on the club that came off. So getting into the value of these clubs, at $799, that price point to me is really good. We've seen sets on this show for $499, that Costco set when I bought it, wonderful value for a big brand name like that but that's a rare bird i've also played really cheap sets like the top flight set for 299 it felt and looked cheap i've also played a little higher end package set like the sticks which also felt really well but the price was a little higher this one sits kind of right there in the middle 
I think it's a great price point, a great starting point if you're starting golf. It comes with a bag. The bag is nice, high quality bag for just getting going. The head covers a cut above the rest as well in terms of quality, especially on that putter. Like I said, I really like that one. But even the wood head covers have a, it's a synthetic leather, but it has a nicer, more quality feel than some of the fabric-y, cheap, flimsy ones you get with the real cheap package sets. So all in all, I think the value is definitely commensurate. Maybe you're even getting a little bit more bang for your buck than some of those other package sets out there. We came up, I don't know, eight yards short. So there's a little distance penalty, but we've got 20 feet coming up the hill. We got a birdie putt still. I just make one. Oh, if I hit it, I made it. Uh, I don't mind tap in pars, guys. All right, guys, I said in the beginning of the episode, we are giving away this set. It's actually the set that I played with right here on On Course. It's my Christmas present to you, along with the guys from Monroe Golf. We are giving this set away. I've got a link down there in the description. All you need to do is enter your name and email, and we're going to pull a name here before the end of the year to give this away as a nice holiday present to one of you. Good luck. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys, and I'll catch you back here on another edition of Let's Play Through.